Welcome to McFly Angler. I've never been a guide, but I still enjoy teaching people how to catch more fish. So join me in this video where I show you how I tie this fly. Before you do anything, you probably want to make a few brushes, if you're not going to buy the EP brushes. If you make your own, I like using this Ice Dub and Shrimp Pink, and then I'm using an EP fiber substitute called Congo Hair, but use EP if you want. I'm tying this with a mix of dark brown and caddis tan. Cut a strip out this large of the dark brown, and then cut a strip about the same size of the caddis tan. You can mix them up a bit like so to get even distribution. Then cut these into strips about as long as double the hook shank. Like with any dubbing brush, just lay your base material down and then layer it with other materials. In this case, I'm using Ice Dove for some flash. Of course, brush it out and spin it multiple times to make it durable. Then I like to flatten out the brush a bit to make tying in easier. Okay, now start tying this fly and the hook I'm using is Risen's O'Shagnessy hook in size 4. This is a strong saltwater hook that will not bend on these hard pulling fish. Once you place your hook into your vise, then start some thread right behind the hook eye. Now, for thread I like using Vivas 140 power thread, but any heavier denier thread should do. After starting your thread, then make a thread bump to place the dumbbell eye onto. Now for dumbbell eyes, you can use lead if you want, but I find these brass dumbbells work just fine if you tie them in the right way. Attach the eyes on top of the hook shank using X wraps and under wraps. Make sure they don't spin. Then bring your thread all the way back to the start of the bend of the hook, and make a small thread bump there, and then end with your thread just ahead of the bump. To give extra security, I like brushing a bit of super glue onto the thread, which should keep it from spinning. Now we need some extra select craft fur. I've been asked in the past what is the difference between extra select and regular craft fur, and the answer is the length. You really want the extra select here. I'm using tan. Cut off about this much of the craft fur and clean out the under fur. Then tie this in on top of the hook shank like so. About two hook shank lengths from the bend of the hook. I like to clean up the shank section before proceeding with the next step. To ensure this is not foul on the hook, I like adding a drop of super glue on the base of the tie-in, and then twisting the fibers to make them thin right there. Once this dries, it will help keep the tail from fouling on the hook, but the tip will still be flexible and with great action. For flash and a bit of an antenna look, clip off four strands of crystal flash. Pull out two of the sections to make them longer, and tie them in so they extend just past the tail. Then pull back the forward facing fibers and tie them in rearward as well, and cut them short so they extend only as far as the other shorter flash fibers. Now this is normally not part of the fly, but I like adding a red polar chenille for some accent color. Tie this in and make about 3 to 4 touching wraps with it at the base of the tail. Then pull all the fibers rearward and tie them back up on top of them to keep them angling rearward. Now we're going to be using the brush that we made in the beginning of the video. Tie this in directly behind the chenille and bring your thread up to between the dumbbell eyes and the eye of the hook. Then with touching wraps, and ensuring you pull the fibers rearward with every wrap, wrap the brush up until the dumbbell eyes. Once you reach the dumbbell eyes, make a few really tight wraps under them, and then advance the brush forward and make a few wraps up behind the eye of the hook as well. To keep your head not so large, try to pick out some of the fibers with your bodkin before capturing the brush. Then clip off the brush using some clippers like so. Now you'll probably have to fold the wire back so you don't cut your thread. Then create a small neat head on the fly like so. Now you can whip finish your fly. So it might not seem like it. But this is probably one of the most important steps of tying this fly. You must pick out the fibers. They will get trapped when wrapping them on the hook, and picking them out makes sure that they aren't twisted or trapped. This step alone will make your fly look much better. 
Now I find that if I trim the fibers right above the dumbbell eyes here, the fly will swim hook point up better, and will sit on the bottom a little cleaner and neater. This will help you get more strikes from weary redfish. Now I was busy filming and totally forgot a major step in this fly, and that is to bar the tail with a dark brown sharpie. This really adds to the fly, and should be done right after tying it in. However, I'm doing it now, and if you forget, you can do this later like I am. It's just much easier to do it when you first tie in the tail. So I always run this fly underwater to shape it, and let it dry that way. I find that the shape and action is better when I do this. Also the fly looks awesome when wet, almost like a soft plastic fluke. However, in my eagerness to film the finished product, I made another mistake. I forgot to add resin to the head, which will make this much more durable. But that's okay, because I can add it now. Anyway, whether it's fresh, wet, or dry, this is an awesome looking fly. Obviously, I didn't design the fly, but I did change up a few things from what the originator did, some different materials and techniques to suit my own needs. Now, I couldn't find any info online from the originator of the fly, so if any of you know, please let me know in the comments below. By the way, you guys will probably notice that I use some materials from Risen Fly. They have offered all of you a discount automatically just by being one of my subscribers. Please go to www.risenfly.com and type in McFly at checkout to get your discount on everything in the store. I will see you on the next video. Now you go catch some fish.